so addictive this beautiful sport of boxing it really is it's it's just an exciting sport one punch really can change the fight and that's what just keeps you hooked you never know what's going to happen so Luis Richano Colleen 36 years of age one win away from securing qualification for a fourth Olympic appearance in the boxing ring his opponent Jakarta Ait Becker from Algeria the reigning African continental gold medalist from the event in Yaoundé, Cameroon earlier this summer. He in search of his first Olympic appearance, but has competed on the global stage as he boxed in the world championships in Tashkent, Uzbekistan earlier this summer. So there then, the five judges who will be scoring this one using the 10-point must system. 29 boxers began the men's 63.5 kilogram weight class. Abdul Haq Nadir was a really close performance. And a, but a terrific performance in a really close result. As we see unanimous point decision victories over Joseph Komi and John Paul Masamba produced by the reigning and reigning African champion. So Manuel Villarino of Argentina is a referee, signals time in to get the 63.5 kilogram gold medal bout underway between John, between Luis Richano Colleen, wearing red of Mauritius, scoring effectively to the body. The man who just attempted a left right upstairs, the slightly taller of the two, is Jugurtha Ait Becker of Algeria. This a rematch of the gold medal bout in which Ait Becker prevailed to take continental gold in Cameroon earlier this summer. Nice right hand off a big step in from Colleen. But then a right left from Ait Becker countered by a single shot from Colleen. So these boxers know all about one another as Ait Becker drives in a long, strong right cross to the left rib cage of Colleen. Looking for a left-right combination. But in their previous encounter earlier this summer, it was the man in blue who came out on top to be crowned king of the continent at 63.5 kilograms. Ike Becker's just doing really well there, just establish, establishing his, his straight shots. And that's a good right hand catching Colleen, who possesses terrific reflexes, but as he was bending backwards, he still found a blue glove planted on the side of his head from Ike Becker. Ike Becker fainting with that same shot once again. Colleen on the front foot, swinging and missing with the right left. Ike Becker trying to counter, but he too was off the mark. His left jab, which followed, was right on the money. I was just about to say, Colleen needs to be careful leaving his chin in the air as he's going backwards. So the referee has called time because the shoelace of Ike Becker has come undone. Requires some attention from the Algerian corner. Right foot was twitching feverishly whilst draped over that bottom rope. Nervous energy, adrenaline, make no mistake, Ike yeah. Becker is up for this one. It really was. It was like a chihuahua stuck in an electric fence. <laughs> so swinging a miss with the left hook from Colleen. Ike Becker, convenienced on the rope, so ties his man up, walks him back to the space of centre ring and then shoves him off with some physicality. Closing the gap with quick feet and flicking out a left jab to the body is Colleen. Counter right hand from Colleen, not too far away as Ike Becker drops down to the body with a right cross once again. Left jab was a scoring shot upstairs. And Ike Becker perhaps has landed the greater number of scoring punches in this round as Colleen scores with a right cross to the body. Darting left jab catches Colleen as he was, in trying, to as he was trying to employ the layback. Ike Becker's doing really well. Just aiming for the body. As Colleen leans back and his head's out of the way all the time. Left jab again on the back foot from Ike Becker. There's another one in the exchange of jabs. Ike Becker lashing out that left hand. Left hand to the body was the final shot of that exchange from Colleen. Colleen on the front foot. Looking to close down. Left hook to the chest from Ike Becker. Very good round of boxing between two familiar rivals. For my money, I happen to think the man in blue did the better work, but how will the five scoring judges see it? Yeah, 
definitely. I think Eichbecker really did well there, keeping his man at bay. The occasional body shot just to throw Colleen off guard. I think the next round, Colleen really needs to pick up the pace, get his chin down, get his hands up. So let's take a look at the scores at the conclusion of that first round. And it's a 4-1 split in favour of Jugurta Eitbecker of Algeria, judge number one from Poland, preferring the work of Luis Ricciano Colleen. So into the second round we go. Thanks to the live scoring that is available from this African Olympic qualification event, the coaches and the boxers will be aware of the context of the scorecards after the first round, and Colleen has come out in altogether more quicker fashion, scored to, with a good left jab to the body a few moments ago. Discernibly quicker in his movements, because he knows that he scores with a left jab to the body once again. Right hand upstairs, wasn't too far away from Mike Becker. Oh, that's a beautiful right hand from Colleen during an exchange of right hands. But for my money, Colleen's was a more impactful and effective shot. Physical at close range, Ike Becker looking to get back to the space of ring center and employ the straight jab, which served him so well in the opening round. Really good work there. Oh, cracking right hand on the retreat from Ike Becker. There's that darting lead left once again. But Colleen, in search of his fourth Olympic appearance, really taking it to Ike Becker. Only six boxers in Olympic history have competed at four Olympic Games, including an Egyptian and an Algerian, but none of those boxers did it 16 years apart, like Colleen is aiming to do. Because remember, his first appearance was in Beijing, and he didn't make it through to Rio 2016. So Beijing, London, and Tokyo are the three Olympic appearances under the belt of Colleen. He's one win away from getting another one, but he's in against his familiar rival and the reigning African continental champion, Ike Becker, who is boxing very well indeed, although Colleen is having a better second round in the first half compared to what he produced in the first. Yeah, he really is. Colleen's come out. Colleen's come out, up the tempo, which he needed to do, trying to back his man onto the ropes. Nice left right from Ike Becker, who was then able to sway to his left to avoid the counter. Good reflexes from Colleen. There's that famed head movement. His three shot attempted response all off the mark. Ike Becker just maintaining the gap. There's a flashing right cross in response to a left jab that Ike Becker landed. Colleen's right cross was altogether more eye catching. Even though we're in the same weight class, see Colleen is built like a speedster, whereas Ike Becker just gives the appearance of being a bulkier boxer, but there a beautiful left jab from him. Colleen looking to use his qualities of speed and reflex and explosivity against the loose-limbed, languid style of Ike Becker. Nice movement out of the corner from Ike Becker to make his man miss. Ike Becker just trying to slow the pace down a little bit with his movement. Flicking left jab from Colleen before the boxers fall into a clinch once again. Neither man really freeing their hands to work away at close range. Terrific use of the jab, although the right hand which followed the third jab was off the mark. Terrific response from Luis Ricciano Colleen. What will it be? What will it yield on the scorecards? He conceded the first on a 4-1 split. Judge number one preferred the work of Luis Ricciano Colleen, but it was a magnificent response where he really upped his speed and work rate. Yeah, he really did, Colleen. Definitely got the memo from the coaches. You need to pick up the pace. He did so effectively, but Ike Becker very composed and relied on that trusty left jab throughout the round. And he's taking it on a 4-1 split once again. So the scorecards of the opening round returned once again in the second round. Judge number one from Poland, clearly preferring the work of Luis Ricciano Colleen. And despite his better second round, not able to take a greater share of it, which means that this man, the reigning African continental champion, is in a really commanding position with three minutes remaining in this gold medal bout.
So three minutes away from finding out, or less, if it ends inside the distance, but potentially three minutes away from finding out who will secure the berth oh. as a right hand crashes home from Luis Ricciano Colleen, who is trailing 20 points to 18 for four of the five scoring judges after six completed minutes of boxing. He chasing a fourth Olympic berth for Mauritius. Mauritius's only Olympic medal coming from the boxing ring. And that's from Colleen's Beijing Olympic teammate Bruno Julie at 54 kilograms. Jugurtha just three minutes away or less from qualifying for his first Olympic Games. Beautiful left jab once again from Ike Becker. Colleen's really stepped up the pace in this round. You'd expect nothing less from a man with so much ability and experience. Nice right hand catching Ike Becker while he was bobbing and weaving and dipping and slipping. But a beautiful darting left jab once again, keeping the movement going, not holding his feet for more than a split second, Ike Becker, and able to keep composure while in the pocket and make Colleen miss by millimeters. But Colleen remaining committed to his task, trying to get in his own range and find a home for his punches. Steals a quick glance to the corner. He knows that time is ticking away as we approach the midpoint of the third and final round. But Ike Becker producing a very composed display indeed. Yeah, definitely. He just needs to be careful, Ike Becker, that he doesn't get stuck on the ropes and get caught with a heavy shot. Colleen looking to dig away to the body. Ike Becker keen to show the referee that it's not he who is holding, but he's spoken to about his failure to keep his head up. Again, no success on that forward foray from Colleen. Holding on the blind side of the ref is Ike Becker. Few more seconds elapse as he is edging ever closer, second by second, to his first Olympic appearance. But Colleen will make this final 40 seconds seem like an eternity because he's going to continue to press and unload everything he has. But look at how Ike Becker is draped all over him. Ike Becker, for his part, won't want to pick up a warning and point deduction from the official, which would bring Colleen right back into it. Yeah, he really needs to be careful here with the holding. So Colleen continuing to press, thundering in punches from both flanks. But again, Ike Becker manages to avoid them, then ties his man up, gets him back to the space of the ring and waits for the referee to intervene. I think he's calculated this one pretty cleverly and knows that a point deduction or a warning isn't going to be forthcoming after the 10-second clapper has sounded. And Jugurtha Ike Becker looks to the heavens before sinking to the canvas in a moment of silent prayer. He knows that he has done enough. And Luis Ricciano Colleen's quest for a fourth Olympic appearance over a span of 16 years. Well, it's going to come to an end here in the gold medal bout of the African Olympic qualification event. He tried everything within his wherewithal, but it looks as though we're going to have a repeat victory from the gold medal bout of the African Continental Championship event in favor of Jugurtha Ike Becker. Colleen did well there too. He never gave up. He never gave up. Kept on trying. Kept on pursuing his man. But it just wasn't enough in the end. I feel. Good to see that sportsmanship between the two. Let's get the official verdict. And just look at what a birth to the Olympic Games next summer means for the reigning African continental champion. Jugurtha Ait Becker consolidates his status as the best boxer on the continent at 63.5 kilograms by claiming gold in the African Olympic continental event and imbued with energy, able to provide a burst of celebratory shadow boxing for the cameras. Jugurtha Ait Becker with a 4-1 split decision victory over his familiar rival, Luis Ricciano Colleen. His quest for a fourth Olympic appearance coming to an end here in this championship final. But two qualification opportunities remain. The first one in Northern Italy at the end of February and March, and then a final global qualification event in Thailand at the end of May and into June. So Luis Ricciano Colleen, 
we can stay on weight, stay, stay healthy, we'll have other opportunities. But here and now, this moment belongs to Jagurta Eitbeka, the man from Algeria, the gold medalist, and the African Olympic qualification event tournament champion, which means that he has got the quota berth for Paris 2024, and that is how he did it, taking it on a 4-1 split. Testament to Luis Ruchano Colleen's unyielding efforts is that he took